This is Bruce Silver. In this series of four short videos, I want to show you how IBM BlueWorks Live can help engage business users to actively collaborate in business process improvement. When business stakeholders feel the proposed solution is really the result of their own contributions as opposed to something imposed on them from above or from IT, they become invested in the project's success. In this video, we'll look at what makes BlueWorks Live such a great tool for engaging business users what it provides that traditional process improvement tools, both paper and software-based, do not. In the second video, we'll look at how BlueWorks Live lowers the barriers to creating process diagrams, not as crude sketches, but the right way, using the Business Process Modeling Notation Standard. In the third video, we'll see how to capture additional process details and how to use them for process analysis. And in the fourth and final video, we'll look at how BlueWorks Live's collaboration features keep all team members up to date with the latest changes. It's a lot to cover, so let's get started. With BlueWorks Live, there's no software to install. It's hosted by IBM in the cloud, with access on a subscription basis, so there's no large capital expense, no system for IT to install and administer. This in itself removes a huge barrier to business user engagement. To use BlueWorks Live, you just go to blueworkslive.com, log in, and go. Here's what it looks like. The Community tab contains information about all the projects in your organization's account. Everyone in your BlueWorks Live account shares this information. Each project team can also have its own area of the account called a space. In the Community tab, the main panel is the Private Activity Stream, which lists all changes to processes, users, and anything else related to your BlueWorks Live account, as well as blog posts and comments added by users. It's presented as a stream like you would see on a social media site like Twitter. You can organize the stream by date, user, process, or space. The whole stream can be a lot of information, so each user can limit it to just items they follow, indicated by a gold star. On the right are two buttons. For process improvement projects, we're going to focus on the first one, Blueprint a Process, which is BlueX Live's term for modeling a process and its associated details. The Library tab at the top takes us to the information we have captured in BlueX Live. The Spaces tab then lists the various areas, called Spaces, we have defined for the account, each with its own list of users. The notion of a shared team workspace so important in any process improvement project, is built into BlueWorks Live. Again, there's nothing to install or integrate to do that, and that sets BlueWorks Live apart from other modeling tools like Visio. We can limit the library to show only the spaces I'm currently following, or all of them, listed either by name, date, or keyword tag. The space is a container for all the information related to the project, models, process details, blog-style posts and user comments, and uploaded file attachments. BlueWorks Live lets you use spaces any way you like. You can even create a hierarchy of spaces containing other spaces. But in process improvement projects, it's most common to give each project its own space, with its own list of users authorized to create or modify blueprints, that is, process diagrams and details, in that space. From the Space Details page, an authorized user can add other BlueX Live users to the space. Enabling business users to create process diagrams themselves is a key strength of BlueX Live. We want to use the process diagramming standard called BPMN, but most BPMN tools are designed for BPM professionals, not business users. BlueX Live, however, is meant for business users. To help them get started, it automatically generates the BPMN diagram from a simple outline. When you can get the business users talking about the actual sequence of steps and who does each one, and then they immediately see the result, they start to get excited about the project. They see the big picture, and they want to contribute to get it right. They want to use the tools themselves. And we'll see how to do this in the second video. In addition to the process diagram, BlueX Live lets you capture details about each activity and milestone. The documentation view, if we click Show All Details, shows for each activity all of the standard properties as well as up to 10 custom properties you define. You can see it's quite a few. 
We're going to talk more about how to use these properties in the third video on process analysis. Business users have always been conditioned not to touch software, so they don't mess up anything. But BlueWorks Live wants to change that. It lets you save the current version of your process model as a one-click snapshot. Revision history lists them all. And you can always revert to any version simply by clicking its Restore link. With snapshots, business users don't worry about messing up work done by others previously. So far, we've been in Edit Mode. If we click End Edit, we go into View Mode, a read-only view that allows users to examine and comment on all of the information, but not edit it. Users designated as contributors only have view mode available. So let's quickly recap the reasons why BlueWorks Live can engage business users in process improvement projects in a way that whiteboards and stickies or software tools like Visio simply cannot. First, whiteboards and stickies are useful in live face-to-face -face meetings, but outside those meetings, their value is lost. The information is difficult to maintain, to share, to find, or reference after the fact. Those are 20th century tools, and this is the 21st century. We need information that can be assembled by distributed teams, by virtual teams, and viewed and discussed by all stakeholders, not just those present at the face-to-face -face meeting. Second, compared to software tools like Visio, with BlueWorks Live, there is no desktop software to install. You just log in with any browser and go. Third, sharing of information across the project team is built in. You don't have to integrate a separate tool like SharePoint to do it, and you can organize your spaces and subspaces any way you like. Fourth, BlueWorks Live makes creating BPMN easy for business users through things like the discovery map. Fifth, BlueWorks Live has fields for all the important process properties built in and lets you define your own custom properties for analysis. This is extremely important in process improvement projects. Sixth, snapshots automatically save your work at frequent intervals, and you can save your own named snapshots whenever you want. You can always revert to a snapshot at any time in the future, so business users don't need to worry about messing up the project if they touch the tools. Seventh, activity streams keep everyone on the team up to date with all the latest changes and comments on the project. Again, it's all built in, nothing to integrate, nothing to customize. In the next video, we'll take a deeper dive into process diagramming with BlueWorks Live.